Hey guys, what's going on? So um, today I'm going to show you how to make this note card. Okay, see? And yeah. And alright, so here it goes. Alright, so for this model I'm going to use a square sheet of paper. Okay? And alright, so for a yellow milk carton, um, yellow side down, and we're gonna do we're gonna divide this into fifths. Okay? And this is kind of tricky, so we're gonna do we're gonna fold this up. And how far you wanna fold it up? Well, you wanna fold it up so that um this length right here, the yellow part, is twice this length right here of, of this part, okay? And to check yourself, let's fold this. Let's fold this behind like this. Okay? And you wanna make sure that this comes to the middle right here. Okay? So we kind of move it back a little bit. Okay? And you just just estimate it first. And if it doesn't line up, then you just have to fiddle with the folds until you do. And now let's fold this over like this. Okay? And yep, I imagine they lined yep, they lined up right there, so like that. Okay? Alright. And now let's extend the pinch marks all the way across. So let's fold this edge to this pinch mark right here. Okay, like this. Okay, make sure that this edge aligns with this edge. Okay, just like this. And crease sharply. Now unfold. And now let's fold this edge to the last pinch mark. Okay, just like this. So I'm going to say dividing it like that um, is the hardest step, okay? But all the rest are fairly easy, okay? Now unfold, and now let's repeat on this side. So let's fold this edge up to this pinch mark right here. This is the second pinch mark up from this edge. Okay, like this. Okay, like that. Now unfold. And now let's fold this edge up to this crease. The last crease. Okay. Okay, just like that. Okay, just nice and sharp. Okay. Alright, like this. Alright, and now. And now let's um, do that in the other direction. So yeah, we're gonna do that tricky step again. So let's just fold this up, okay? And you can just make this look like a square right here. See, a square, okay? Remember, just estimate it first and then remember to check yourself. We're gonna fold this behind like this, okay? And fold this over to check yourself even more, like this. And, nope, I'm going to move back just a little bit like this, and now it should line up better. Okay, now fold this over like this. And, alright, that's good enough right there, so once you're happy with that, pinch. Okay, alright, and now let's fold this to the that pinch mark right there, the second pinch mark up from this, okay? Just like this. Okay. Alright, now unfold, and now let's fold it to the last pinch mark. Okay, just like this. Remember, make sure the edge is aligned right here. Okay. Alright, now unfold, and now Let's fold this edge to the pinch mark right here, the second one up from this edge. Okay, like this. Now unfold. And let's extend this one all the way across. We'll fold this edge to this crease. Okay, now unfold, okay? And now Let's just reverse those creases so make them make them mountains instead of valleys. Okay? Just like this.
Okay. It's like this. Just... And then it's right. We're just we're just reversing the creases. Okay. Alright, like this. Okay, just like that. Alright, and now we're gonna do we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna just, just fold this up like this, two units, okay? Like this, okay? Alright, and now we're gonna do is we're gonna attach the two units together. So let's just let's just make these mount let's just make those values too. Okay, like this, just like that. Okay, just like this. Alright, and now let's bring the two ends together, so Let's just take it and let's insert this right in that slot right there. Just insert it, just insert it one unit like that, okay? Like that. Okay? But yeah, so that's what we're gonna do um, when we form the melt, the melt garden. But now let's unfold it and, and we're gonna do first is we're gonna make a series of diagonal folds that go along this um, strip right here, this, 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 um, this, section, okay? So let's just first fold this point to that point right there, the intersection, okay? See? I'm gonna mark it with a pencil real quick. I'm gonna fold it to this intersection right there. Okay? Just like this. Okay? There, just, sorry about that, okay? Alright, now let's fold this edge to this crease. Okay, and just fold from this point like that, okay? Do not crease right here, okay? Now unfold, and now let's fold this edge to this crease now, okay? Make sure you're holding this down so it doesn't slide. And just crease from that point all the way up like that, okay? Unfold, and fold this edge to this crease now. Okay, hold it down so it doesn't slide. And just fold like that from that point to there, okay? And now let's fold this edge up to this edge. And we're hold, holding it down too. And just crease from this point to, to this point. Okay, like that. Okay, now let's do the same thing in this direction. So let's fold this point to that point right there. Okay, remember to this point right there. Okay, like this. And now, let's take this edge and fold it to the crease right there. Make sure you're holding this down. And just crease halfway like that from this point to this point. Okay? And just keep doing that until you reach the top here. Okay? I'm doing the same exact thing. Okay? Okay. Like that. Alright, and now, let's just make those, let's just... We do those creases again just to make sure they're all valleys. Okay. And now let's attach the two ends together, like I just showed before. Okay. So to do that, we're, we're going to do ex exactly what we did before. Just put your finger inside of this slot and insert this into the, that slot. Okay. Like that. And now just like that. Make sure it goes. And like this. Okay? Like that. Alright. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna um we're gonna fold we're gonna mount and fold on this crease right here. See? We're gonna mount and fold on this crease. Okay. And we're also going to here, let's just do the mount and fold first, okay? And we're also gonna mount and fold on this crease and this crease right here okay make sure it stays together okay like that okay this is the bottom of the milk garden by the way and this is going to be the top okay like that it's looking good right there and now let's close this up so let's just let's valley fold on this crease Okay, and like that, okay, yeah, 
Yeah, it's kind of tricky. Like this and just like that. Okay, and let's also valley fold on this crease. Okay, like this. Yeah, this is tricky because there's a lot of layers right there. You have to kind of mess with it until you get it exact, okay? And yeah, okay? And if you want it to stay, you just have to kind of, um, well, you, you have to kind of push it down so it stays out. I actually recommend you use foil for this model, okay? But yeah, but to make it stay, let's just kind of fold it diagonally in half like this, and the other way, like this. Okay, like that. Okay, that's looking better. Okay. Let's do something about that point right there. Okay. Alright, that's good enough. Okay. And now, lastly, let's just mountain fold right here just to make sure it's a mountain. Let's just pinch it like that. Okay, now let's pinch right here. And pinch here. Make sure that this crease stays a mountain. Okay. All right, and now just kind of shape it. Okay, like that. Let's make sure it's together and stuff like that. Now to lock this in place, let's just um, let's just fold it behind just a little bit. Okay, like that. All right, and now. It's all right if it if the bottom looks kind of funky down here. You don't need to look at the bottom anyway, okay? But yeah, that's the bottom of the melt carton. You don't need to look at the bottom, okay? All right. But if you really want to fix it up, you just have to kind of, you know, mess with it until it's good, okay? But anyways, there is the melt carton, okay? You can spin like that on the surface, okay? Yeah, like this. And yeah. And look, here's a... And make it stand on a cube like this, okay? And yeah, or maybe you can make it stand on a Rubik's cube. Look at that. All right, well, hope you guys managed to fold that. It's kind of a challenging model, but um, yeah. But it, it, it I, I, I really like it because it's, it's 3D and it looks like a melt carton. It looks kind of like those cafeteria melt cartons, those little, you know, little ones that, um that people sell at school in cafeterias, okay? But yeah, but it's pretty cool. Or maybe you can call it a, a half and half melt, a half and half carton or something like that. I don't know if you make it tall enough or yeah, something like that. But I'm gonna I'm, I'm, I'm gonna call this a melt carton, okay? Because it kind of looks like a melt carton, okay? But all right, so there it is. Well, um, make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe, and see you guys later. Bye.